<laughs> they are like the size of my vehicle right now. That's ob- obviously an exaggeration. It just seems like with the sudden onset of summer, they are a lot more atrocious than they were in previous years. Bug us and like go on our heads and like, like chew our hair. <laughs> they yeah. are pretty annoying, right? Yeah, they're really annoying. <laughs> They definitely are annoying. It's mosquito and black fly season, and this year they may be fierce. The worst time is at dusk when the sun's starting to go down and it's a bit cooler out. But there are ways to make living with them a little more bearable, like wearing one of these mosquito jackets if you're going to be in areas like this around the bush or wetlands. They're not very attractive, but they do the trick by sealing the bugs out. And if you're going to be heading out at peak times, wear light colored clothing. Mosquitoes are attracted to dark colors. And also, if you don't want to spray or wear anything, we also have mosquito blocking candles. One other important thing for cottagers to remember is before you leave the cottage for any period of time, you should check to make sure that all areas that could provide standing water are removed. You can get a lot of mosquitoes coming around when you have uh, still water just sitting. Especially important towards the end of the cottage season when we see more cases of West Nile virus. That's after mosquitoes have had the opportunity to breed and go through the life cycle with birds because that's where the virus usually starts to begin. And then um, we want to make sure that people are protecting themselves in the summer months. And it's right now that we want to make sure people are cleaning up those standing water sites to reduce the number of mosquitoes. But for most cottagers, there's only one true solution. We just live with it. We just learn to live with it. For a list of other things you can do to help prevent West Nile virus at your cottage, you can go to our website, citynews.ca, and click on FYI. In Cottage Country, Audra Brown, City News.